as I said, it's most unfortunate that persons will file up, uh, processes before the court and then uh, fail to take an interest in it. And indeed, even when the same application for interrogatory judgment in spending has not been determined a day before they proceed to go and file another application for interrogatory injunction. There cannot be a greater demonstration of, of, of a desire to abuse the court's process than this. Clearly it shows an attempt to frustrate the, the Republic from pursuing its business and all. And that is why it's necessary that um, as lawyers for the Republic, we take a keen interest in whatever happens and make sure that such things are, are dealt with so that um, the state business can proceed. On record um, in Parliament, it's, it's a letter that I wrote to the Speaker asking him to reconsider his decision and all. So I expect Parliament, after having come to the Supreme Court, to oppose this application to also um, reconvene and, and deal with the, the matter relating to the approval of the, of the ministers. There's nothing at all that impedes or inhibits Parliament from, from doing its work. They ought to do their work. And I think that the adjournment of proceedings was most unjustified. Yes, and, and, and on court for it. Well, if, if, if this guy has not prosecuted the matter, the application will, will be dismissed. <laughs> the process he has filed in court will be dismissed. Yeah, yes, but, so, but, and, but, hold on, hold on. I think that the duty to fix the date for hearing rests in the registry of the, of the Supreme Court. And I do not understand where this business of people actually um, scrutinizing when applications are fixed for hearing or why this application has been for hearing even came from. The Back in the days, if you file an application in the Supreme Court of Ghana, it takes you even three months for you to have a date for hearing. It is only after a party has made an application for an expeditious determination of the, of the process that the matter will come up for hearing. And indeed, in, in the record, we show that this particular case, for the record, it must be indicated that the I specifically applied for an expeditious determination of the, of the matter. I applied for an expedited hearing of the application. So it is not the Supreme Court of Ghana uh, picking and choosing which applications to hear and not to, not to hear. Any party to any matter, back in the days I used to do it even when I was in opposition, my first application for an expedited hearing of a matter in the Supreme Court, I did it way back in 2006. And then uh, I did another one even in 2013 when we were in opposition. The runs for France one, which is widely reported, was heard in the vacation. And that is first one to an application for an expedited hearing that I made as counsel to runs for France um, in 2011 or 2012. So indeed, it is always a prerogative of the Supreme Court registry to face applications for hearing. And if the date for hearing has not been fixed or is perhaps too far, it is incumbent on the party to apply to the Chief Justice in accordance with the, um, the Courts Act and the Constitution of the Republic for an expedited hearing. We that is done. So, I, 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 so I think you should ask the plaintiff. The plaintiff is the one who instead the action. The plaintiff is the one who instead the action, and the plaintiff ought to um, bear the responsibility for 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 the conduct of the, of the matter. I'm not going to conduct the plaintiff. Thank you very much.